Hi there, welcome back to Scribbles and Ink Stains. My name is Mary, and today I wanted to cover part two of my currently inked 2022 September pens. Basically, I'll keep most of these pens inked for the entire month. These pens live at my desk at home. These are my journaling pens. In most cases, these are gold nib pens, and I would just be heartbroken if one of them rolled off my desk in my classroom and I destroyed the nib. So these live in their permanent little pen house, and I do routinely take them out for journaling, and as such, I adore all of the inks. Let's look at what those inks are. First up, probably my finest nib is my Pilot Vanishing Point in Extra Fine. And I was not super happy with this. With My intention with this pen was to put a an indelible black ink in this pen and just let it go. But the indelible black inks that I have are sort of, they emphasize the scratchier nature of this nib. So after doing a little research online, coming across a lot of feedback on this pen, I've decided to try the sample of Orishizuku Sukiyo. And the nib is so much more silky on Hobonichi paper with this ink in it. So this is the Pilot Vanishing Point. Extra fine. Loaded with Pilot Orishizuku Sukiyo. I love it. It's a great writer. Next up, we have my Custom 74 by Pilot in a medium nib. It is loaded with a wonderful ink. This is the Lennon Toolbar Pitsion Pen Fairy ink, and I loaded this up for my first week with students, but of course I'm working with it from home because uh, with a gold nib, I just would really be upset if I dropped it at my desk and damaged that nib. So, Lennon Toolbar Pitsion, which also translates to Pen Fairy. And this is kind of a grungy brownish gray that I adore. It is totally up my alley and I love the pen. Let's look at my birthday pen. Birthday pen, Sailor Pro Gear Slim. Oh, I love this nib in the size medium. Momo is the special edition, medium 14 karat nib, loaded with Sailor Shikiori Yosakura. Yosakura. This was a set that came with the ink from Goulet Pens. Deep love for this pen and that ink. Currently one of two Sailor pens that I have inked. Could not resist this pen. This is the Twisby Diamond 580 in the iris colorway, where the nib, the hardware, the cap, and the clip all have this special treatment, which is kind of multi-chromatic, iridescent pearl with lots of blues and greens and purples. This one is in a fine nib, so Twisby 580. Iris edition. It's loaded with Sailor, Shikiori, Kushu. Kushu. If you know how to pronounce that, let me know in the comments. Um, deep, deep, deep purple. Love it. I thought it would get, be a good match and yet very legible. Good match with some of the purples in this pen. Well, my Camera stops filming after an hour, so I'm not sure how much of that footage I lost until I look at that footage. I'll just reiterate some of what I said about this pen. This is the Sailor Pro Gear Medium. Um, if you're comfortable buying pens from Amazon.jp, directly from Amazon Japan, I would highly recommend that for some of these Sailor pens, if you're comfortable. This is a gorgeous pen. And with the exchange rate right now, basically the yen is about 75 cents to the 
US dollars. So it's a great time to get your stationery directly from Japan. I uh, love this pen, love this nib, love this color. I wanted something brown neutral to go in this cream colored, ivory colored pen. And I love it. All right, so that concludes my little tour of Currently Inked. I'm pretty happy with the variety and the selection. Again, the way I use these is generally journaling at home, doing memory keeping, and doing everything else at school when I just need to grab something to write with. It happens with one of these. So super happy, can't wait to see what you all currently have inked, and thank you so much for making it to the end.